Match the data structure with the real world situation where the structure would be best suited. So A, when the number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime, memory is limited and direct access is not required. So we can narrow this down to a singly linked list or a doubly linked list. The crucial difference is when traversal in both directions is necessary, and that's choice G. So A is a singly linked list and G is a doubly linked list. When the number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime, memory is not as big of a consideration and being able to rapidly access and correlate data is required for a specific algorithm. That's going to be a hash table. C. When the number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime and only the most recently added piece of data is required for a specific algorithm. So that's last in, first out. That is going to be a stack. D. When the exact number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime and direct access is required, that is going to be our dynamic array. E, when the, number of, when the exact number of pieces of data is known prior to runtime and direct access is required, all we need to do in that case is allocate a static array. F, when the number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime and you need to keep the items in their in sorted order for a specific algorithm. That is going to be first in, first out, that's a Q. G, we've already determined, so let me look at H, when the number of pieces of data is not known prior to runtime and the only piece of data is the most, uh, only the piece of data, and the only piece of data of the most important is required for a specific algorithm, that is going to be our priority queue.